Hey guys, it's going Josh here. And just yesterday, we had a new story about the first look at Mysterio. Now, it wasn't a first official look, unfortunately. It was more of a set photo kind of leak. Again, as I keep filming, it was bound to happen. We got another look at another scene. So this scene's actually really interesting because we get to see Ned on his phone. I guess it looks like he's on a date. That's kind of how people are describing it with uh, Betty Brant. It's really interesting because we see a figure here, which looks odd. And I say looks odd because he seemingly has a mask on. Kind of looks like V from V for Vendetta, actually, uh, just slightly. And a lot of people are thinking, is this our first look at Chameleon? And due to copyright rules, of course, we're not going to be able to put the image in this video, but we can link to it. So check out the link in the description or probably in the comments. It's really interesting because we get to see Chameleon for the first time and a lot of people were curious, how are they going to do Chameleon? Is it going to be a mask? Is it going to be a helmet kind of mask? Like, what is it going to be like? A lot of people were also thinking, oh, maybe he actually is a shapeshifter because we are getting the scrolls and stuff like that. I never really thought that was going to be the way they would go about it. I always thought the mask would probably be the way they go since Chameleon does typically have like a white mask on. It's almost iconic with his character at this point. I always thought that it might be possible Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. introduced actually kind of facial shape-shifting technology, except it does seem like this is a more kind of different approach. It's still a mask, but it's not anything based on what we've seen before. So I'm curious about this. I'm curious about the properties of the mask too. Like, does it just change your face or does it change everything automatically? Like your face, your sounding, like how your voice. Comment below what you guys think down below. It does look like the character has hair. So I'm really curious about this. If maybe he still has to put on a wig and it simply changes his face, not his hair. So maybe the chameleon is posing as a waitress for their date and because of that he has the mask on which is changing his face and presumably voice but still has to wear a wig i'm really curious about how they're doing this in this movie it would be really cool because definitely chameleon can be played up as a more theatrical type character in a similar way to how mysterio is a very theatrical type character so definitely i'm curious to see their interpretation of the chameleon here in the mcu i'm really happy actually to be seeing all these classic villains makes me crave a sinister six movie even more come below your guys thoughts and I'll see you guys later.